All right, one thing I neglected to do, but I thought I should do is kind of compare the currents that are coming out of the charger versus what's going in to the battery. So now I have the Ramsum on charge. I go, I have my meter here set to about 200. So I got 200 milliamps coming out, going to the sun shield. And then going over to the battery here. We're going through this ammeter at 184. So actually that's better than I expected. Let me get it going on the trickle charge and see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, it's now fully charged. It's dropped my charger down, what's coming out of it, to about 23 milliamps from that 200. Now I can adjust that obvious little bit. So I can have it go all the way down to zero. I'll shut it all the way off here. <clears throat> now with it shut off, guess what? The charger has got five milliamps leaking back from the battery to the charge controller. Well, I can chart and increase this up to the max it takes and go all the way up but it's only it's only reading about 50 on that meter but I don't think that's all that accurate. The actual measurement as you can see here's 23 milliamps going to the charge controller. We're still on charge here. It's not trickle charging. It's just sitting there minus five from the battery back to the sun shield. So if I disconnect any charging, it doesn't matter. It's still going to show five milliamps coming back. If I disconnect my meter tells you the meter goes down to 0 0.3. Put the meter back in the circuit. Okay, I reset the meter, connect it back up just to see if there's any leakage when the charger is totally off because there's no power source to it. 1.3, negative 1.3, take it off of here, goes down to 0 0.3, so there is basically 1 milliamp going back. If I connect the, uh, the charger back up should go into charge mode and you can see you in charge mode it's actually drawing more back from the battery once the sun shield is operating which is rather interesting I don't think it's life-threatening but something to be aware of it does not trickle charge like someone might expect it to so if it goes in charge, it goes up to the point where it says it's charged, it just stops everything to go to it. It doesn't do any additional mode. So that's part of the reason it's probably inexpensive. Tough to be aware of. The other thing that's kind of interesting down here in the man cave. See this little guy here? One of these big flies. He's been bugging me all afternoon. I haven't been able to catch him. He's been making me chase him all over the basement and 
he's been winning. But I came up with a great answer. He pegged himself on my uh, vapor barrier there. Pulled out the old 3M Spree 77. One little squirt. Down he came. And he didn't last five minutes. Yeah, he's still wiggling a little bit. But that's my new that's my new uh, fly catcher. Thanks, 3M. Have a good day.